Hi, it's Manette Riordan here, publisher of North Texas Kids Magazine, and I have decided I want to start a whole new video series called Adventures in Conscious Parenting. And you might be wondering what conscious parenting means, and maybe together we'll figure it out. But from my perspective, conscious parenting means being present as often as possible, really paying attention to what's happening with your kids and being involved in their lives. And I think together we can come up with some great opportunities to talk about the realities of trying to stay conscious in our very busy, hectic mommy lives, especially for working moms and stay-at-home moms who love to volunteer. It seems like our plate is always so full, but every day you can come here and find a little snippet of me talking about something silly to do with what's happening in my life as a parent or what I hear and read about in the media around me and trust me I get some really fun crazy things coming across my email every day but today let's see today is Monday it is March 21st it's the first Monday back to school after spring break always a challenge to get everybody up and going we all uh, stayed up late slept in and my husband left this morning to go out of town for five days that's always um, a fun adventure and not something that happens very often so it's a really busy week for me and I'm trying to figure out how I can get myself scheduled much less my kids scheduled when I take my son to school he's complaining about his tummy hurting on the way to school and we're talking but he says no I'm okay I want to give it a go we think we have everything all organized and I'm halfway home and I get the call that he forgot his gym clothes so do I go get the gym clothes and take them back? Do I let him suffer and miss a grade for a day because he doesn't have his gym clothes? Now, I already know he's not feeling good. He's in the gym. I can hear somebody yelling at him in the background. They're not yelling, but certainly fussing at him from using his cell phone on the school grounds. He's in middle school, and he's not supposed to have his phone out at school. He can use the office phone. And in that moment, I thought, okay, I'm going to be late to my 9 o'clock appointment if I turn around and drive back home and get these clothes and take them to him. But is it worth running his whole day over something as simple as being five minutes late for appointment? So I made a conscientious decision to drive home, get the clothes, which were exactly where he said they were. They were on the floor in his bedroom. They just didn't quite make it into his backpack. Packed him up, drove him back to school, and took him to the office, feeling like I had done the right thing today. Now, if this were a habit and it happened two or three times a week that I was having to drive things to school, I probably would have said no and let him suffer the consequences. But today, today, that's not what happened, and I was happy with the decision I made, and it felt like a conscious choice to be present and really give him what he needed and make sure that we get this week off to a good start. It'll be interesting to see what this week brings as we go through it together, the three of us, without daddy at home. So I'm sure it'll be a ton of fun and I'll share our daily adventures with you. Now it's about 4.30 in the afternoon. They're doing their homework. I've got to go get dinner ready and get Connor to his martial arts class by 5.30 and still have a lot of work to do. So I'm sure so many of you can identify with the craziness of our everyday lives and the small decisions that we make that have a really big impact on the the way that our kids are able to go through their own days. So like I said, take a deep breath. No, I didn't say that, did I? Okay, so can you tell us late in the afternoon, I've had too much coffee, I'm feeling a little tired, and I'm trying to figure out what I wanna share with you as I launch this video series. What I learned today is that it's okay to do what feels right in the moment, even though I don't believe in rescuing my kids, I do think it's important to let them suffer the consequences of their own actions. Today it felt really good to be that mom who took the time out of my day to drive over and make sure that he had a great day. I would love to hear from you what you did today to make your kids feel great or any other questions that you might have that we can talk about on Adventures in Conscious Parenting. I'm Dr. Minette Riordan. You can learn more about me on my website at NorthTexasKids.com or read our digital magazine, all kinds of great content to uh, read about and learn about and, and lots of super fun stuff. So. I will be back tomorrow with more thoughts on adventures in conscious parenting. Signing out. I'll see you later.